Yes, I'm going to introduce myself. My name is, is Evans. They call me Evans. Uh, but my first name, who people don't know, is Lilton. L-I-L-T-O-N. Okay. Uh, I'm not a master gardener. I've learned from experience. Raised and born on a farm in Virginia. So the minimal things, and a few things I'm going to start with is fertilizer, food. There are three different types of fertilizer. There's liquid, there's dry, and there's animal, which is manure, pig, chicken, and all that. Okay. Now, a lot of people don't know it. They, they, they know that it's all fertilizer has numbers to it. And it's nitrogen, phosphorus, uh, potassium, or potash. Uh, your nitrogen can be as little as blood meal. This is blood meal, which is natural, called from cow's blood. This is 12% uh, nitrogen. Nitrogen can go up that you put on your lawn, 36 to 39% nitrogen. Your uh, phosphor phosphorus is bone meal, which is this. This runs, if you look at your numbers, it's your second number is high, which is a 214 zero. This is good for, what this does is break everything down for the other two, so it metabolizes it and makes it everything works. Your potash, basically, can be for roots and things like that. Carrots, stuff, also your uh, bone meal. This is an all around good fertilizer when you get it. It is 344. It will not burn, it's organic. And as you can see on, see on the bag, it has root vegetables and vegetables above ground. This will not burn, and I fertilize every three weeks during the summer. Another thing people have problems with is tomatoes. There are two ways you can keep tomatoes from hitting the ground. That's staking them. These are the stakes I use, and this is used for a indeterminate tomato. Indeterminate means tomato will keep growing. It grows in about four to five feet, up to 20 feet, and in the terminal. If you had it in a greenhouse, you could wrap it around your greenhouse and it will grow until the plant dies. It might be a year. Just keep growing, producing tomatoes. Your determinate, the determinate tomatoes are the ones you see a lot of farmers have in the fields. They only grow from three to five feet, and all the fruit will come at the same time. It's called a bush tomato, a patio tomato. Those are double type tomatoes. And let's see if I had to get everything I want. When you water tomatoes, you don't want to water the plant. You want to water the base. If you water the plant, any nutrition, any, any fungus or anything will splash up on the plant and cause it, infect the plant. So on mine, I water the ground. If it's a, in the morning, I might water the plant because it's due on the plant already. So it won't affect the plant that much. Also, to grow good tomatoes, you can also, what they call, take the suckers off. You got the stem, the branch, and the sucker will always grow at a 45 degree angle. It'll be a new growth. You can pinch it off or you can cut it off. Then when your tomatoes, if the vegetation is great, you can cut some of the leaves back to give sunlight to the fruit. Now, people, when I first started these, they said, what am I planting these long sticks for? My tomatoes, if, like the past, will grow over that stick. It's got to go down again about another foot to about right here, and I have six feet up, and you can grow. Um, planting tomatoes, if you get a good tomato, a small one, you should have about two to three leaves above the ground. If you, I just got this stick to demonstrate. If you got a long tomato, it's been stressed, you cut all the leaves off and leave this much, maybe this much to the tomato. You would take the tomato, dig your trench, lay the tomato down, bend this up, and this is all you will see. Each one of these branches, you see here that you break a leaf off tomato, you become a root. 
You can also take your suckers you break off and put them in water within 10 days to two weeks. You probably can replant it. That's how fast they, they grow. And then you can just keep going on and on and that'll produce tomatoes. Um, another thing I do, I mix my own soil to have a little bit of this. I got, you can't see it, but in here, you can see it in this bed, I've got eggshells, the white coffee grounds, a little bit of potting soil, and a little gardening soil, and this type of fertilizer. Mixed in, I mix it use a five gallon bucket and mix it all together. So this will break down. I do this twice a year, in the spring and in the fall, with the eggshells. When you're planting your seed, you should always look at your packet. This, this is, has a lot of information on it. If you don't know it, it tells you how deep to plant, when to plant, a lot of them tell you the size, how far to space them apart, all that. And even some of your plants, if you look on the inside, they even give you more information. Now I'll pass that around, and that will show you how to plant that tomato by laying it down okay. when it gets too long. A good tomato plant is about that high, four to, four to five inches. When they start getting leggy like this, then you have to, to lay them down. But look at your seed pack. That will tell you everything you need to know about that seed. Depth, the time to plant, uh, spring and fall. Um, most of your plants, tomatoes, tomatoes, cucumbers, peppers, eggplants, um, anything I missed? They are summer plants. They do not like frost. They're the first ones that will show signs of frost here.